Okay, okay guys, this is Paul for Replica Gun Reviews. I uh, hope you're all having a great Tuesday afternoon. Um, it's been gray and rainy here for about two or three days where I live. Um, I live in New York in Yonkers, um, so it's been pretty dull this past week. Um, so I figured I'd just bang out some videos. Um, if you've been keeping up with my videos, my last video I did a review and some penetration testing on the Umarex Legends PPKS, uh, and I figured I'd go in order, so next in line would be the Macro, which was based off of the PPKS. Uh, this is also made by Umarex, it's part of the Umarex Legends series. Um, Right now it's on Amazon for $68.99 plus $7.54 shipping, so it um, comes out to about $70, $75, bucks, something like that, um, so it's not so bad. Um, I gotta say, I've said it in my last video with the PPKS, um, so far I got a lot of Legends guns from Umarex and they're all solid. Um, most all of them have all solid metal frames um, the only plastic on them is the grip cover sometimes this is the only one that has the entire grip is plastic except for here uh, but this part comes out to expose the uh, co2 if I can just get it open like that and just pop it back in um, as you can see uh, the Makarov comes with uh, its branding right there um, on this side not sure on the real macro if this is the safety or the mag release. I would imagine that's the actual mag release. Um, but on this one, you have the safety right here. As you can see, white always indicates that it's on safety usually. And then red indicates that it's on fire. So always keep in mind whether your gun's on safety or fire. Um, this thing is solid. I have not had any... Uh, any BB jams, any malfunctions of any type or anything like that. I do have a couple issues with this gun. Um, out of all the Legends guns, this is probably the only one that I do have a few issues with, but not real issues. They're just minor things. Um, one is, um, which is not a big deal. This is not one of the issues actually, but um, I'm not sure if on the real Makarov, um, this does have blowback action, so you can rack the slide when it's off safety. Uh, I'm not sure if on the real Makarov when you rack the slide if it cocks it, but um, you have to cock it this way when you rack the slide on this it doesn't, so I'm not sure if that's just how this works really or not, but um, anyway it does have double action so you can cock it and fire or just fire. Um, the other thing I should mention is under here this little tab I don't like about this. Um, I heard online somewhere on some site that there's another version of this that doesn't have this tab sticking out so I might look out for that um, because other than that I think this makes it look kind of ugly having this tab stick out like that. Um, also the spring on this tab which is used to screw in and out the CO2. Let me just open this up. It's a little tough to open. Um, see it uh, controls that screw so that you can pierce the CO2 but the spring on it looks so weak um, so I would keep that oiled out definitely um, also uh, one of the issues I've had with this gun is as you can see you shouldn't have to take this grip all the way off to get the CO2 and it's not advertised that way but as you can see when you put the CO2 in it's supposed to go in head first um, it doesn't fit properly like it doesn't just slide in um, you know if you put it that way it doesn't go in um, put it down first it doesn't go in so it has to go ahead first so it doesn't fit so either you push it down all the way which I'd rather not do or you do this which sucks but you take the whole grip off um, and as you can see it has two markings on each side has this long one here and those match up with those two little indentations inside the grip cover so uh, if you want to put it back on you just line that up um, it's a little difficult sometimes let me see let me just try to get this on real quick uh, see what I mean it like slides down sometimes oh there we go got it 
Um, it goes back on really easy, but um, it's a pain in the ass. You shouldn't have to take the whole thing off uh, to get the CO2 in, but um, you do. But otherwise, um, this gun is pretty solid. Um, there's no uh, gas leaks or anything. I always use, and I always emphasize to use Pell gun oil on your CO2 cartridges, so I haven't had any malfunctions with any of my CO2 guns or anything like that. Um, this does shoot standard .177 BBs and it takes your standard 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Um, as I said, this is actually based off the PPK. Um, let me just pull it up on this site right here. Um, I have this site. Uh, it's called AlienGearHolster.com and they have a blog about the Makarov versus the PPK and it goes a little bit into the history of the two. Um, and what it says, I'll read a little insert from the Makarov part. Um, it says the Makarov pistol came about after World War II, before the war intervened. The USSR had plan had been planning on phasing out the M1895 revolver and TT30 Takarev pistol, but they had to put those plans on hold. Then peace broke out, and they were able to get back to the drawing board. The design team, headed by Nikolai F. Makarov, took the Walter PPK and modified it. Walter couldn't do a damn thing about it since... Thuringia, where Walter was based at the time, was in East Germany, and your patent is appropriated for the glorious benefit of the people of the Soviet Union. Um, that was just what, what it says in the blog. That's not my opinions or anything like that or my, uh, my writing, so I'm just quoting what it says. Um, I don't glorify the Soviet Union or anything. Um, but uh, the Makarov is kind of cool. Like I like the... It comes with the uh, red, uh, or not red, it's kind of like a rusty color, but it does have the little Russian star on there and everything, which is awesome. Um, I was surprised to see that the safety comes actually with the S for safety and the F for fire, because if you see here in the German Luger, it actually has safety in German. So, I don't know if the Russian words for safety and fire start with S and F, but I doubt it. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but um, I have no idea. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have no issues with any of these guns. Um, they're all pretty cool, so I want to do um, a couple of penetration tests with this. Um, one thing I did notice about a lot of these Umarex Legends pistols and other uh, rifles and even submachine guns is their FPS is really low. Um, I mean, they're good for planking and everything, but um, I mean, if you're looking for FPS, these are not the ones to get. They are really solid, but FPS, I think this one has an FPS of, let me see, uh, 380, so it has a 380 feet per second muzzle velocity. Um, it is single or double action, like I said. Um, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you now how to uh, load the BBs into this thing and how to load the CO2. Um, one issue with this macro that I have, and I've never seen this mechanism on any other air pistol before, is the way to get the magazine out of this thing. Um, I was assuming that this was the original mag release. Um, but this thing is strange so as you can see the magazine is right there and there is this little tab right here and what you do to get the mag out is you just pull forward slightly and it just drops out um, I prefer the mag release here obviously so you can just catch the mag and I have to use the same hand to get it out and then catch it at the same time so that's a bit strange to me, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, since I have it out, I'll show you. Um, it's all metal, so that's a good thing. Um, I would keep that spring in there. Also oiled, use that RWS uh, spring oil on there. Um, it does have a locking mechanism, which is good because some of these stick mags don't. You have to actually hold the, the uh, spring down while you load it. Um, 
It does have one of those uh, slanted tops, so you have to hold the back of it while you load the BBs. Um, so it takes uh, 18 shots, so I'm going to load 18 BBs into this, and then I'll be right back with you. Um, I doubt you want to watch me load 18 BBs into this thing, but um, I'll probably cut this part out a little bit. So let me just get some BBs here in my hand, and then uh, I'll show you how. Keep them in your hand that way. Right, and you just pick them up like that, and you simply just drop them in the hole. If it gets stuck, see it wants to go through the other hole that my finger's holding, you just tap it forward and it drops down. You have to hold it more at an angle, but I have all those BBs in my hand, so I don't want to spill them because they're a pain in the butt when they go over the place. So that's three, four, one eternity later. Okay guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I got all 18 BBs uh, stored into the uh, magazine. And I'm not going to insert it yet until I insert the CO2 just to be on the safe side. Um, you should always be on the safe side um, and always make sure your gun is on safety and it's not cocked. Um, I have a CO2 gun, I forget which company makes it, whether it's Umarex or Crossman, but it's a revolver and when it's cocked and you put it on safety, it still fires. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful with these things sometimes. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna show you how to put the CO2 in. Um, bear with me if I have trouble getting this cover back on because sometimes it's a little pain in the ass. Like I said, um, I probably shouldn't say ass on YouTube too much. They might demonetized. I don't know if I have enough views or anything like that yet anyway for that but anyway so this is what you do to load this here too. You take that grip cover off take this tab um, as I said before there's a little screw that screws up and down you screw it all the way down uh, you take your standard 12 gram CO2 cartridge and a little bit of Pelgun oil and take your Pelgun oil that down and put a little drop let me just center this sorry guys if I keep veering off um, I'm just trying to look at what I'm doing and at the camera at the same time but you just put a little drop like that and that's enough and then you simply drop it in to place or it should just drop into place but it is not. Yep, there we go. I just need a little push. Um, and then you tighten it up. Let me put, tighten it up before I put the grip cover back on. Actually, it might be a little easier. So right now, I can feel it's at the point where if I turn anymore, it'll pierce. So let me hope I don't get a lot of gas. Oh, barely any escaped. So that's another thing I noticed with these... Uh, Umarex Legend series guns is that the uh, there's very little gas leak when you turn these uh, cartridges up when you pierce them um, they seem to tighten very quickly um, the only thing that sucks about this one is now I have to get this magazine cover back on um, let me try to do this oh, got it. there we go and that's it um, and you put your loaded magazine back in you put the BB as you can see on this side you can see two you shouldn't see two you should see one that goes face forward and you put it in and you're ready to go um, on safety you can't cock it you can't pull the trigger um, off safety you can cock it you, know, you can pull the trigger I'm not going to do that because uh, it's loaded now and it has fresh CO2 cartridge in and I don't feel like putting a hole in my girlfriend's laptop or the TV <laughs> but um anyways yeah that was the uh, Makarov uh, the Umarex Legends Makarov um, I wanted to do next uh, I was going to do a video on the German Luger which I just got as I showed you before um, and then after that I was thinking about possibly doing a video on the next Umer X Legends the uh, M712 or C96 M712 I think um, this thing is really cool um, has a dropout mag too 
this has a better magazine uh, system, you know, CO2 pellet system. Um, this is probably the worst of them all. The magazine system um, is the Makarov, but unfortunately, you know, that's just how it is. I got to look into it, like I said, to see whether there is another version without this clip at the bottom because that takes away a lot from the authenticity of it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is Paul for Replica Gun Reviews, and this is the Makarov, uh, Umarex Legends Makarov. So, uh, yeah, you can pick it up on Amazon. Like I said, I believe uh, it was $68.99 plus $7.50 foreign shipping. Not that bad. I mean, for feet per second, I wouldn't rely on this um, if you're looking for that, looking for speed. Um, but if you're just a collector, I would say this is definitely one to add to your collection. Um, it's solid. It doesn't have any misfires. Like I said, there's no issues with it or anything. Um, so after this part, I'm going to do some penetration testing with this. Um, I don't think it's going to do much like the PPK did. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, again, please guys, anybody who has any uh, ideas as to what to shoot, um, or what you'd like to see me shoot, definitely comment, because, um, sometimes, when I, I guess I just run out of ideas, like, I, I think shooting water bottles and stuff eventually is gonna get old, um, I can't really go outside and shoot, um, I live in a city, so it's not possible, there's no forested areas or woods around here, um, where I could safely shoot this and possibly not hurt someone or get arrested, <laughs> um, but, um, Anyways, yeah, uh, so I would say uh, from a 1 to 10, I would put this on about 8 or 9 um, on the scale from 1 to 10. But definitely check it out for yourself. Um, this is all just my own opinions. Um, you know, I'm sure not everyone agrees, but, um, you know, I think they're pretty cool, these Legend Series guns. And they're not very expensive, to be honest. Um, I've had pistols that were about the same price and are terrible um you know these are really awesome um so yeah so anyways this is paul again for replica gun reviews and i'll see you in the next video peace guys Yeah, now you can see it better. 
uh, definitely missed a few. Um, my aiming was pretty good, but um, I think the spread on this thing is just awful. But uh, yeah, I decided to set it up this way from now on. So I put the BB trap behind it and I have it inside of a bucket so the water can spill inside. Okay guys, so um, I tried to mark the shots the best I could with the Sharpie, but this is still a little wet. Um, but as you can see, um, some of the shots did penetrate fully through. I couldn't mark the back ones, they're still way too wet, but you can see where they went through. Um, the water caught a good number of them. I can't tell how many, let's see. There's probably about almost half a magazine in there, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a little more, probably. But, um, the PPKS didn't actually penetrate through the back at all. It, all the, the whole magazine got caught in the water. So, um, as I said, uh, before again, the PPKS was only... It maxes out at 295 feet per second. This one was 380 feet per second. So um, I can imagine why some shots made it through, definitely. Um, I shot this also at a distance, same distance, about uh, 10 feet. Um, I'll always, by the way, be using about a 10 foot distance. Um, so you know how far I'm shooting from. If I do do anything closer or literally point blank, I will let you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so water is a good stopping uh, uh, agent basically for projectiles. Um, uh, I found that the bullets as well. Obviously, it takes water a little longer to stop a bullet than a BB, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, damage that the, probably the extent of it, I would say, um, I don't know if it'll go through, like, say, the tin on a cat food can or something like that. I should probably test that, but, um, I would imagine it would. Maybe I'll test that, but, um... I'm not going to do it in this video, I'll do it at a later date. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, milk carton right now. Alright, that's it. Okay guys, so here is the Galaxy S5 aftermath um as you can see i tried to mark it as best as best i could um the boot tape is i should cut pieces of it off but um as you can see the ppks which has a feet uh muzzle velocity of 295 feet per second penetrated about the first layer of glass maybe um the walter i mean the uh makarov as you can see went a little further in um, than the PPK um, so it definitely went a little deeper it has a 380 feet per second muzzle velocity um, the Daisy Powerline 5501 as you can see is just these two shots and Daisy 5501 is the only one that actually penetrated fully through the glass so um, that has a higher FPS than the PPKS and the Makarov um, but uh, I can't remember the exact feet per second um, but yeah that's the aftermath I think this phone maybe I could get another shot or two in it um, but I might have to find another phone um, if anybody has any old phones that they feel like sending me um, just hit me up um, I'll definitely take them off your hands and use them to shoot um, um, if you have like any old you know just broken phones or even if they're even if the screen is cracked you know if I could shoot it I will um I'll shout you out as well and uh everything but uh, yeah that's the aftermath of the Makarov these are the three shots here as you can see and I th yeah I think that's it it was just those three shots oh yeah and maybe this corner shot
that definitely went a little deeper than the PPK for sure and now it's point blank and still didn't penetrate alright folks so here is our sad PSP um, I did mark off as you can see the PPKS was in gold so those are the two shots from the PPKS um, as you can see again they ha the PPKS has a muzzle velocity of 295 feet per second so it penetrated like the screen protector that's about it dented the screen behind it um, these two shots here are from the Makarov and uh, let me try to focus a little better here um, but as you can see it definitely went in a little further it has a muzzle velocity of 380 feet per second so it should have anyway um, this one actually did oh no it was, this one was point blank I literally just put the gun the pistol right up to it and shot it um, for all the other shots, this one, these two from the PPKS, and all the other shots um, on the tin can and the GS5, I shot at a, maybe a distance of 11 feet. Um, I'm standing here. This is where they were set up inside my BB trap, my homemade BB trap. And um, I shot from, oh, there's my cat, Jupiter. Say hi, Jupy. <laughs> Um, but I shot from about the tip of that uh, hallway where my coffee cup is and where my other cat, now Eden, is creeping in. But uh, yeah, so that's about a little over, about 10 feet, maybe 10, 11 feet. Um, and yeah, so that's the uh, aftermath of the PSP. Um, I'd show you inside, but there's no damage done if I take the battery cover off. Um, it never even dented um, the inside, the back side of the battery cover or anything. Um, so yeah, that's it. Alright guys, so as you can see I bought a pellet trap. So um, I'm just going to empty the last few shots and see if I can hit that target in the center. Um, and from now on I might do uh, accuracy tests and when I get a chronograph I'll do uh, I'll measure the speed too so uh, let me just grab my macker off and I am ready to go let's see what we got here let's see how good of an aim I have I'm about 10 feet away here maybe a little more That's it. Uh, see, as you can see. Uh, that was a pretty wide spread, man. That was a terrible aiming. Um, damn. Alright, so on to the next thing. Okay everybody, so uh that was the review and some penetration testing on the Makarov. Uh let me know what you thought of it. If you liked it, give me a like. Um, uh, if you have any suggestions or comments or anything, definitely comment. Um, I was thinking about, you know, since I did, uh, I think it was two now in a row, Umarex Legends guns. I was thinking about my next video, uh, maybe going off course and going with uh, the Sig Sauer M17. And then uh, I do a review penetration testing and uh, some accuracy testing with this. Um, then I thought I would go back to the Umar X Legends and just finish the couple I have off uh, left, uh, which is the Luger. And then I have the M712 still. Uh, there's still two. Uh, guns I need to get from the Legend series, which are the rifles. Um, so, well, actually, there's a bunch more, but two that I want anyway. But um, so yeah, the Makarov, 
did do a little bit more damage than the PPKS as I expected. Uh, I didn't think it would do much more damage. Um, it's, what is it, 295 is the PPKS and 380 feet per second for the Makarov. So that's about 85 feet per second difference. So you, as you saw in the video clips, uh, it definitely did go a little deeper than the PPKS into the phone and PSP, but not much deeper. Um, but anyways guys, yeah, so this is a solid gun. I would say again for penetration or FPS This is not the way to go, but it is solid. Um, I Use it a lot and it never gave me an issue So I can't really complain about it other than what I mentioned like the tab here um, But other than that, yeah, so this is Paul for replica gun reviews and I'll see you in the next video Peace guys